Hey everybody and welcome back. So, in this one we're going to be doing the Gilded Cage with Hosea and a bunch of other guys. I think it's like a party in San Denis. I'm really hoping I'm close to a night of debauchery now. That will never sound right saying that. Okay, let's go see Hosea. If you guys could leave a like and a comment and hit that subscribe button, that would be amazing. That horse drops a present, okay, you're going to take clean it, it easy. Up. Fine, fine. I keep forgetting Morning, not to ride horses in here. Alright, let's go see Hosea. See what he's up to. Hosea, you old devil. How's things? How's life? How's the wife? If you have one. Or many. Hosea? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yep. I'm with you there, Arthur. Nothing worse than when you have to socialize. Well, I say that. Socialize with people like you'll find at this party. I've been there. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. That's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come on, this way. Uh, with a beautiful evening it shall be. What's up? What's, what's going on with those trousers? With the mayor. Like, yeah, you Good think Bill would found a pair that at least so, reached the shoes, you know? Himself, you know? Uh, Mr. Brante, he has a uh, thing, you know? Uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Come, come. He has that thing, you know. Respect. Oh, this is a nice place. <laughs> ah, the angry cowboys who arrived, and you've watched for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is San Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, <laughs> a, a confederate major in the war, <laughs> and a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. 
I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no? <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Yeah, I do wonder every now and then, like, I keep forgetting, so I turn on the subtitles just to see what he's calling us in Italian and just to see what he shouts off the balcony. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. How did I fall so far behind? Nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. Alright, let's go find the mayor. I'm getting nothing from this crowd. Oh god. Alright, Bill, calm down. Save the man's life, because he choked on a peanut. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour, no. Uh, Hello. Where am I going? Oh, it's this group. Yeah, there you go. I recognize this gang of miscreants. It ain't complex, I'm you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. 
Yeah. What say you and me cool off? <clears throat> Get your hands off me. This party is for the well, sober oh, and semi drunk. You do not make the cuts, sir. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. You can rejoin the party. Return to the mayor. I like how that group of people never really questioned the, 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 the fact that Arthur just sort of saddles on up to them, like sidles on up. He's like, hey. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, my lord, that fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Follow the servant and remain undetected incognito I can do this yeah that's right he don't expect anything look at him walking away like that not even looking over his shoulder Place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terrapin. Yeah, well done, Arthur. You were the master of disguise right there. You just blended right into the plants. Hey! Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. The mayor. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate chip and beat him. Uh, I will not okay. have standard slip in this house. <laughs> that was random. Find that little reprobate and beat him. Have you lost him. your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. It's not like that desk is going to keep whatever that is safe. Not from me. Is there another way out of here? So there is. Cool. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. 
top secret, extremely confidential. Very interesting. Yep, anything that's top secret and extremely confidential tends to be very interesting. Eh, let's get going. Return to Dutch at the gala. Okay, so we've done a bit of snooping for the night. Let's party! This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What? We don't even get the party. What did you find out? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. See, they always say they need a lot of money. They never actually specify how much they need. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Well, you, you know, work on that idea, Dutch. You take your time, there's no rush. Alright, so what's the next step? I can't remember much about this part of the game. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law react. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, a fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, all right, yeah, okay, that's the mission brief. Don't need that. Oh, my God. What? Stranger? Oh, there you go, and Trelawney. Ah, there we go, look at that. That's what the one I want to do. A fine night of debauchery. That's what I need to do to get the Lamat revolver. That's one hell of a trek, though, isn't it? Jesus. Alright, how much time have I got? I got about... F I'd say about a half, another half hour. Uh, until I really have to sort of call it quits. Um, yeah, let's do it. I need to find my way down, though. Yeah, it feels good knowing that uh, by the next sort of... Uh, by the next part of this walkthrough, I might have both Lamat revolvers. All customized and tricked out, ready for the rest of the walkthrough. Come on, Arthur, put some spring in your step. This is taking the piss. So slow. There we go.
Okay, good. so what's this one? Yeah, this is the one we have to go for the have to go to the boat, whatever it's called, the steam boat, the river boat. It's the one of the bloody poker game, anyway. Now, which is kind of a long mission, but I should do it. it shouldn't take off though. If anything, the worst part will be this bit when I'm traveling to Saint Denis, because it takes forever to get the places. Ah, to get the places in uh, in this game. Yeah, that was a weird noise uh, I just made simply because I bit my tongue when I was talking. Which is happening a lot lately, I don't know why. Alright. Ah, right. Okay, almost there. Ah, it takes forever. I, I think I'm getting close and then I sort of zoom out and I'm like, Oh god! There's so much left, so <laughs> so far left to travel. Now right, take a right here. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? <laughs> of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. Ah, look, it opens straight to what I need. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the A very good choice, sir. The heavy brow from all. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We've both... Oh, this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Uh, innocent well, after fun. After the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. That's the hope, isn't it? Come on! Really, that's the dream. <laughs> But again, like I, said, like I said earlier, they never actually specify just how much money they need to get out of the country, or to get to the West. It's just we need money. Could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? I'm also like, I've probably pumped like, like, you know, this unlikely fellow has made himself in a proper a playthrough. In the oil fields and All right, wait for Trelawney to stop. Of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Anyway, yeah, in like a proper playthrough, well, I sort of put... Oh. It's not like good. how much? Not good at all. Like a couple of thousand, I'd say, big at the tables tonight. into into the camp. But still, it's like, nope. <laughs> it's like, nope, not enough. Never gonna be enough. It's like, well, Leo, what are you doing with the money? You know. 
Oh lord. That looks that looks Make weird. Him look like a prince, sir. That sort of mimics the way my hair looks at the moment. So yeah, why not? Plus I won't have to come back here to get it cut again. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the box. I've arranged some transportation. Why, thank you, stranger. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Oh, George. That's not stranger. Well, look at you. From Toad, the Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't whinny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? Are you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Gly. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Yeah, don't lose my guns. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen! How wonderful to see you, Arthur. You remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Yeah, 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 I'm going. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. That is impressive. Good time. That's an impressive, like, beard awake. that guy had. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time. But don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now, where can I get a cocktail? Sit at the poker table. Take a seat, sir. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. I have never really played poker in real life, but... Are you joining us? I have somewhat of an understanding evening, from gentlemen. playing games. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen. Let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. 
So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. I assume. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I was meant to fold. I should have brought my other wallet. I don't know. Not my preferred title. I did look at Strauss, yes, and he was shaking his head. Have. So, <laughs> not much you can you know, gather from that. It's either don't raise or call. Here we go. Uh, or fold. Hello, my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. I can't. I wasn't looking. Is he not? Yeah, okay. Call. Interesting. They're cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done? Bust. Well, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe, upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Wow, this guy is Don't worry, sir. really got a problem. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! N no offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please cash hey. these out for me. I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. Right here. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not, I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. 
I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. The only, the only sense I get from these people is that they really don't like anyone from outside of America. Or in America. Just anyone. Just give me one this hit everybody. Of course, take your time. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Don't mind if I do. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Oh, right in the chin. What man shoots a guy in the chin? Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe, let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here, come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Well, just don't look shifty, and anyone here might actually just walk past us. Like, like now. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. No, sir, my friend is not a no. It's the Hosiery King. Come back for more. There he is. Now, oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. <laughs> There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, Arthur. We gotta get out of here. You're gonna die. Please, you got the money. Well, things went from normal to really fucked it like what? A second? Right in the chest. Oh, get out of here. Oh, how do you suggest? I don't know. This ain't my. Ah. 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 Let's get out of here, Arthur. That was close. Damn it. We gotta go. Ah. Really? This is the plan. Swim back to shore. You'd think they'd just stand on the side of the ship and shoot us. And the money would get wet. But other than that, you'd think they'd just shoot us. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. All right, nice. So, other than all that, that all, all that was fun, but what this means is, 
if that um like a Wikipedia entry I read, like the Red Dead Wikipedia or whatever um, entry I read was right, I should be able to get the Lamat revolver now. That one gun that I've mentioned countless times throughout this walkthrough <laughs> so far. <laughs> Alright. The night of debauchery done. Um hmm. How do I get the index? There we go, Sandini, ba ba ba. Fence, there we go. Okay, my girl. And off I go. So hopefully get the Lamat revolver. If this doesn't work, I am going to cry. Leave the horse here for a second. I think I have to go up here. Yeah, I think it's like around the back of the building. Out of the way. Should have moved. Hello, my good man. A high roller revolver. Um, no. Executioner hood. Canvas sack hood. Metal skull mask. Uh, I'll buy that. Oh, come now. A hidden face implies a darkness beneath it. Ah. Welcome. Ah, oh, man. No! Alright, clearly I've uh, missed something out on that, uh, from that article. It did say I had to do a fine night of debauchery or whatever. Alright, hang on, let me go. What the hell? Oh, that's not a skull mask. I look like a really fucked up kind of rabbit. Ugh. That is terrifying, though. I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay then, well, mm. back to, let me go to the gun shop, the gunsmith. Oh my god, right, yeah, I'm gonna actually have to look this up, aren't I, again. That should have worked, I'm sure it said you have to go to the, you have to go to that guy in San Denis, like the fence in San Denis. Okay, it was the gun shop. Um, there it is, gunsmith. To you. I know it's probably not going to be there, but it's worth a try, right? At the very least. Okay, I go up here. Welcome to Kao Chow. I don't think I've seen you here before. Let's have a look. Eee, okay, never mind. You go to the gunsmiths. I'm sure it said fence, but it's fine. Whatever. Don't matter. It don't matter. I think that's the right choice for you. Components grip. We do a range of excellent sights for that gun. They can really make the difference. That's a fine firearm. Oh, you don't mess around. Yeah, okay, long one, and then... I can give you some better options for the sights. He sights the shopper, I like it. Then the barrel will be black and steel, cylinder will be white, and the frame will be black and steel, hammer will be silver, 
Yeah, black and steel. Sure. And then uh, silver. Nice. So. Uh, shop. This one will be a snake, the other one will be. Maybe I should have chosen else. a smaller store in Chinatown. Something cheaper. But I'm sure things will turn around. You made a good decision. Oh, I have to go through all that again. Pearl. Barrel is long. Rifling is improved. I honestly thought I'd be spending more money than that. Oh yeah, carvings. Uh, what uh, they have had the snake last time, so I'll go with the scorpion. You won't find a better selection of firearms this side of the river. Okay, hang on. Let me go for metals. No, I did go for silver. Okay, I need to clean those, maybe. I know, that gun looks a bit grimy. Okay, go over there. Ba -da. Ah! Oh, yeah! I forgot they added that as well. Have you owned a pistol before? That doesn't look good, does it? That looks a bit weird. It's not the 1911, anyway. Did Obviously, you know it's like 1899. So. Barrel adds noticeable accuracy. Rip. We can do that to this model for a great price. We do a range of excellent sights with that gun. They can really make the difference. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? Excellent choice. Yeah, I'll buy one. I won't buy two. Uh, I don't. Uh, yeah, some of the pistols in this I can't really like. I think I, I couldn't stand the volcanic pistol. Uh, Mauser was right, I guess. Uh, what's that? Evans. No, that was not what I wanted. Okay, go Evans repeater. Hmm. Nah. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a quick look to see if there's anything else that catches my eye. Let me know if you need help. Oh, I can't get that yet, but I want it. I want the repeating shotgun. Alright, well, that was pretty much it. Right, let me go back. Alright. I got it. So the Matt Revolver. Big, a bit, it's a big day, guys. It's big, it's big, big, big day. I can't wait now for the next shootout I get into. Because now I have the Matt Revolver. I do need to get to, uh... My horse, though. Let's get. Just to change some of this out. Yeah. Could you that? Oh, amazing. Alright, I'm so happy. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to trying these out in the next part. For now, though, that's pretty much it. So until the next time, do look after yourself, do take care, and do carry on gaming. See you soon.